and famous firsts. That's what's going on. Uh, this graded, slabbed comic book rip where everybody owns some editions. And so we're going to randomize the owner names seven times. We're going to randomize the edition numbers seven times. Here's a lucky number seven, and the first random's complete. And now we're going to random the issue numbers. Seven times. Oh, lucky number seven. All right, everybody's got their issue number. Good luck in the break. Lewis R. has 1 through 15. Probably the best issue number to own. This includes first appearances. It's, it's a, a number of different possibilities can come out of this break. First appearances and all kinds of things that could have any issue number attached to it. If the issue number is over 300, it'll go to random. here good luck everybody what do we see oh my this is a fantastic four number 36 from 1965 Oh, my. The first appearance of the Frightful Four. Number 36 is owned in the break by Chris L. Chris L., you have done it again with the number 36 in this break. And spot number 14. Congratulations. With your winning spot in the break, it is graded at a 5.5. The year was 1965, everybody. 1965. The Frightful Four. Attack. And so, very cool item. Great a comic book from 1965. A big congratulations. The first appearance of the Frightful Four. The first appearance of Medusa. And there's an Avengers and X-Men cameo. Story by Stan Lee. And uh, Jack Kirby and Chick Stone cover in art. And this beautiful comic book. You can see the Sandman's involved. Some old 60's advertising. A 
Looks like maybe some I don't know, it's uh maybe an exercise machine. <laughs> some kind of funny advertisement there from the sixties on the back. And uh, anyway, big congrats once again. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was pretty neat. Chris L. comes away with a, a nice hit right there. So we have an Avengers comic book uh, coming up next, uh, really close to happening, and we just had an Avengers come out of Famous First. Maybe we get another old school Avengers. This one's at 10 left. This is one of the closest breaks to happening, along with a few others that I'll be linking up. You can hop in. We'll be breaking these in a minute. Uh, direct one, Hindle is, is not here at the moment. I don't know where he went. Uh, Chris L. Um, Chris L's not here either that I can see. Direct one wanting to know uh, if Chris wanted to trade comics, Ant Man for Avengers. All right, so we definitely we have the of uh, the uh, next Avengers at ten left. And let's get an update on luminaries and let's see about some of the other jerseys and where we're at in some of these breaks. We have 24 left in the baseball jersey. Yeah. Take care. Wonder how close we are in Dynasty. Yes, it is. Yeah, let's get an update on Luminaries. There's 19 left in Gold Rush. Dynasty's at 16. Just kind of looking around for the hottest break to link you up with. And Luminaries definitely fits in that category, everyone. I think it's down to around 10 left. So I'll be getting this updated. 
It'll also get you a checklist. You can click the team icon to see the remaining teams. There's a checklist for you. Also, we have some football. We have a football jersey at 20 left. We left in the football jersey that is coming up. Here's a link to Dynasty. All right, we are down to 10 in luminaries. So we have two breaks that are really close. Down to 10 left. Avengers and luminaries. Are both at ten. Also, when you get in Luminaries, the Minnesota Twins are a bonus team for free. And you'll notice the Twins have some hit Rod Carew hits, Kirby Puckett, and Killer Brew hits in with the Twins. So that's a free team. Somebody's going to win at the beginning of the box break. <laughs> 